Hello YouTube, this is Episco Piper coming to you from the veranda, as we say in this part of the world, or the lanai, as our friend Pipe Lawyer would teach us to say, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where I am listening to the sound of the waves in the distance. I'll give you a little view of this, if I can. Early morning, well, mid-morning, the last day of vacation, alas, but all good things must come to an end. I'm doing a quick video. I know it's been a while since I've done a video at all. My apologies. Life gets in the way sometimes, and I really haven't had a whole lot to share, but I wanted to share with you all the uh, adventure of being here this week, during which time I made a pilgrimage to the Holy Shrine of Low Country Pipes and Cigars, better known to many of us as www.smokingpipes.com. Um, if you happen to be in the South Carolina, lower part of North Carolina coastal area, it's a great shop. Uh, check them out. If you're going there, call for directions because the standard search engines don't work well near the ocean for some reason. And uh, I ended up going the long way around, to say the least, and finally had to stop and call and say, where are you people? <laughs> and they were very gracious. So uh, give them a call. They're very friendly and love to, love to have company. But a great shop. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so much wonderfulness and just neat folks, uh, very friendly, as I said, and very hospitable. One whole wall of nothing but jars of uh, bulk, pipe, bulk pipe tobacco. So I got a couple of goodies, as you can imagine. Um, I picked up some, what did I get here? Some, I don't know, that's, brought that from home, never mind. Uh, Dark Cherry Cavendish by Cornell and Deeble which I had a bowl full of earlier. Very nice. Uh, some more Cornell and Deal. Three Friars, which is apt. So a couple of goodies there and some, uh, some tin tobacco for a friend of mine that I'm going to be visiting later on this summer. Main event, however, we have the Yabo. I've been looking at this particular pipe for a while. It is a Rinaldo. I like the Italian makers, and it also reminds me of my friend, Mr. Rinaldi. John, I hope you're watching this. This one's for you. So we uh, picked that up on the way, and here we have... Dum, dum, dum. Just save the striptease music for another video. Almost won't come out. But there we are, a lovely deep vent. They claim it's an apple. I'm not sure I necessarily buy that nomenclature. But anyway, I'd had my eye on this one for a while and uh, got to the shop. And sure enough, there it was. So brought that home with me. It is very large. I'm, I've got my second knuckle in there. So this will... Uh, be a good driving pipe for when I've got to make it from Augusta to Savannah or some other place that's about two hours, three hours to drive. Be a wonderful addition to the collection. Um, acrylic stem, which I happen to prefer. I'll put a little nub on there to sink my teeth into. But that's my latest acquisition to the collection. I fortunately do not have the advanced case of PAD that some of our pipe presenters seem to be afflicted with, but that's uh, probably <laughs> probably coming inevitably. So, just wanted to share that with you all. Hope you are having a wonderful day or evening, whatever it may be, where you find yourself on the globe this day, and I will look for you later. Thanks.